when I'm biking, it's my work, you know? And, and I love that both of my jobs require me to ride a bike. If I can photograph people for the rest of my life riding my bike, you know, still God willing it being available, you know, photographing on film, it's just like, I'm always feel like I'm looking through a camera lens. I was walking with my bike and there was a kid sitting there in a pedicab and I was like, do you like your job? I had been here two months now, like I was starting to photograph, which is like expensive. It's like, I gotta start like making some cash to come in, you know, and figure this out. So I was like, oh, pedicab, why not? You know, it still gives me the freedom to like do all my, whatever I wanna do during the day, which is like ride my bike and photograph, you know? Cause I prefer in the day besides photographing the pedicab people because I shoot, you know, I don't shoot with flash or anything and just riding my bike. First ride, I was a little nervous, you know. I, I crashed the cab trying to get it out of the shop. I trained with this guy, Dan, and it was really cold that night because it was November. And it was like, got like this first cold snap, so I didn't dress for it, so I just remember like freezing. So are you guys having a good night? Oh, it's a beautiful night. They were very nice. I mean, they gave me $15, which is pretty standard, which you hope for, you know, we asked for like, Minimum of three, but she hoped for at least five a person. So and it was the guy's first pedicab ride and his first time on Sixth Street. You're working for every dollar that you make like pedicabbing. It's just like you, every dollar that I own, like that I earn comes from my legs. And, it's, and you have all these same people doing that with you. And so you're going through this together and it's just intense. You know, like this person told me, if you guys are the hardest working people in Austin. And I said, right now, probably yes. Pedicab Central, as you will see. A lot of places down here give pedicabbers discounts on food and stuff, so you have some perks. show people yeah, they like to like, be put in the spotlight, so to speak. Darren, man. My bike breaks down, so I have to push my bike back, and I had my camera that day, so I decided, like, it, at first it was just like, oh, this was like one of the first times I really started, like, photographing outside in Austin, and I was just like, yeah. You know, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, it's like, this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, it just like clicked and I knew. So I just like, didn't really photograph people that day. Just kind of photographed like a lot of things like on West 8th Street. And then I met this woman who was standing at the bus stop. I was like, hey, do you mind if I take your photo? You know, and she was like, sure. And I ended up taking these two beautiful, beautiful photos of her. From there, I just right away just clicked. Like I took a photo of the guy like next to her. I took a photo of the guy next to him. Like just, I went down the line. It was just like, oh yes, this is it. I knew like every day from that day on, I had to go on my bike and photograph. They accept 220 artists. It's a juried process. Our artist relations coordinator came across my website and emailed me and you'd be interested in submitting your stuff. And I said, sure, you know. And then she emailed me back about a week later and said, you were accepted, they want you to be one of their guest artists, you know, and said, would you like to take it, you know, accept the honor? And then I started printing in the dark room and had things professionally framed and borrowed this lovely booth from a dear friend. First manual camera that I ever learned on, and I've had it since 1999, it's uh, beat up. When I actually first bought it, um, it was a gift um, for Christmas. Uh, pitched in by a bunch of people to buy it for me and I put it on my bed and said okay this is my baby <laughs> and I slept next to it for like a week. Jimbo, he's um, he's an independent 
He owns his own cab. Oh, right here, Stevie. Showing me where he kept his money. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I like to photograph the pity cabbers. I have a whole series called um, Self-Portraits of a Camera Shy Photographer. <laughs> They're mostly all shadow um, self-portraits or mirrored self-portraits, I guess. But if they're on my bike, here's another one of my self-portraits. As you can see, they're all very... <laughs> You kind of see and hear it all. I mean, I've picked up call girls and dropped them off actually right here at Eddie V's. They gave me a hundred dollar tip. They were really cool. Yeah, Lance Armstrong last week um, came out of bar six and got, asked my friend John, you know, how much for a ride. And he said, dude, you're Lance Armstrong, whatever you want. And then uh, his friends had the idea that he should ride the pedicab. So he drove John's pedicab and then Alex, who rides for Capital, came up next to him and they raced and he actually beat Lance Armstrong, which is pretty cool. I want to ride my bike around in different cities and staying in them for a couple of days with my camera and just photograph people living their everyday life. That's what life is about. Click, click. Shutters and my shoes clicking in and out of my pedals. So my favorite sounds of the world are things that click. Shutters and shutters and shoes.